Hello Prince and friends, welcome back to another new video. Today I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys some propagation updates only for the Golden Goddess Philodendron. So I'm going to go ahead and get them right now. This leaf feels really soft and not firm, which is not a good sign. Here's the other ones. I'm kind of getting a little bit scared. I got some more containers, which it was for $8. Well, like $8.98, so like $10-ish, including tax at Walmart. And it has 12 of these glass jars or mason jars and um i think this would be great for some propagations so that would be pretty pretty fun look at this mango plant it is growing like crazy beautiful leaves Alrighty, so let's go look at some roots Alrighty, so it's been a couple days like six days possibly a week since i have done these cuttings and i haven't looked at the roots because i wanted to see, you know first impressions so let's go and do that i'm actually really really scared and something is telling me that they're not doing that good that looks pretty good there is a little bit of progress happening this leaf looks really bad and it looks like it's rotting so that is not fun yeah i'm gonna toss this one out this one has ooh something going on this one is pretty dry so i feel like it was not in the spangle moss and this one has nothing so i'm still gonna leave it in there and then this one has nothing either there's very little progress going on this is the only good thing that i see and when i was doing this propagation which has successfully rooted and honestly it was just one little cutting like look at this it's doing super good i ended up cutting it i placed it in water for like one day and then i placed it in soil i'm literally debating on placing these in soil there is no roots well this has a little bit of something but the, the other ones really don't have a lot going on so i'm not so sure you guys what i'm gonna do on this one oh it's putting out a new leaf but no roots so that's interesting. Now let's check this last one. Mm -mm. Nothing, nothing, nothing. The only difference from these cuttings to the other one that has successfully rooted is that I was chopping this up like crazy by nodes because I wanted more plants. I was being stingy. And also that these were trying to be rooted in some sphagnum moss, which usually works. Um, but I'll place it in soil and hope for the best. But because this was a really sad propagation update, I will show you guys some other cuttings that I have going on that are honestly super, super good. So in this little container, which is from Taco Cabana, <laughs> from a bowl, I ended up using it as a greenhouse. And I have some watermelon pepperonias inside and some begonias, and you guys, there's some really fun ooh, there's some really fun stuff going on like look at those roots that is so exciting the other one is the same i don't want to move it too much because i was already moving it a lot for an instagram picture but looking super good now usually i would place this in soil already but i want to see some growth and if i because <laughs> i feel like it grows a lot faster inside over here then if I put it in soil, because I'm pretty sure it appreciates the extra humidity. I could be wrong, but that is my theory. This is rotting, but it's fine. So yeah, I'm not gonna place this in soil until I see some growth happening. And then this is from a video. Um, I'm not gonna check on it yet. Maybe tomorrow if the spangle moss needs a little bit of water. And they are propagating some string of hearts. They're also propagating some spider plants, which I don't really expect nothing from this right now. But we could look just out of curiosity. Um, oh, look at that. That was pretty fast. This was done two days ago. Look at that. Usually whenever people like propagate spider plants, they, they already have roots. But these don't. And this is a bonnie one. Okay, this is not a root. It's from the stem that I took the cuttings from. The same. So, it's only been here for two days. And then, we have some Sable Blue. This container is from a salad that I got at HEB. Yo, these are really great for propagations, just to give you guys 
Well, I, I'm pretty sure you guys already know that, but these are really, really good to propagate some plants. So look at this. These are some Seba Blues and I propagated by nodes and also just by the stems, which I believe are called chunks, like this. And they're all developing leaves or some roots, which is really fun. And I love how these leaves look so like aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> it looks really, really good. And this root's like so in there. I'm not gonna pull it out because I don't wanna bother it too much, but some super blue cuttings. And last but not least, one more. And it's my Tritiscantia Flumingus, something like that, but it's from the Tritiscantia family. And yeah, I'm just gonna look inside what's going on. So as you guys can see, there's already some roots right there. Oh, this is really, really good. <laughs> there you go. Very delicate roots. This one, okay. Because a while back I was checking and I didn't saw no roots at all. And now in this one, as you guys can see, they're very small, but it's developing roots, which is really, really good. So excited because I, I just want to make it more bushier plants. Like I said, this was only, I don't know if I told you, but I'm pretty sure this was given to me by cuttings. I only had two cuttings that was gifted to me and I ended up rooting it in water. If this didn't soil, it's right now on the shelves. And then it grew like crazy with my favorite grow lights. And then I ended up chopping it even more for two reasons. One, so I can make more plants and then two, so I can make the, the plant that I ended up chopping to become more bushier. Because whenever you cut stems from your plants, usually it makes it more bushy. And then it's fun because you can get more plants. So this looks really pretty. I love the leaves and the variegation. And I guess since it's right next to me, we ended up doing this in a video a while back and I was going to give you guys an update but well here's the update <laughs> I ended up rooting these and these were all placed well this nanook was placed in um, one of those containers and then I placed it in soil and I think it rooted it is growing and it is putting out a new leaf very beautiful and then we have some Chinese money plants which I ended up dividing it for the mother plants they look really really good as well and then my favorite plant lemon lime philodendron probably good at this by nodes and i'm hoping that it will push out okay so it was but it rotted okay <laughs> that is not good at all so i'm gonna go place this outside usually that's my little life hack whenever plants don't do so good and this looks because it's probably rotting um since the soil has been moist for a pretty long time and i do have these plants and not such bright lights, which is possibly what's, you know, not that good. <laughs> and they're at the bottom, so they're, they're probably not getting enough airflow. So I'm gonna go place this one and my Nanook outside in the balcony where it's shaded and protected from the direct sun. But it should enjoy the warmth and the humidity, even though it's humid in the plant room. But it's nice and warm and humid outside. And I'll keep an eye on this one because I really do want it to root. I want to make another lemon-lime philodendron plant. But... Hey you guys, I just noticed this is almost a 10 minute long video. So some sad updates, <laughs> some sad news, but also some really, really good news with that Chetis Cantiae, which I'm super, super excited, and that Begonia. And I hope with those cuttings that I can make it into this and I might sell them by possibly $4 by this kind of pots, four inch pots. And um, yeah, and I can use that money to buy some soil or some more sphagnum moss to propagate more plants. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!